Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing Vemba, a game where we get to cook exotic cuisine from a specific region in India, though I will admit I don't know much about the country. So these could be for recipes outside of that specific region, but we're gonna likely learn more as we get to play. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Oh, we got options. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep Camo Bob on for now. But if it gets too much, I'll get rid of it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we have chapters. Mmm. I might play this for your chapters then. Alright, let's go. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. I'm really glad they put that in English. I would have had no clue what that would have said. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very pretty game so far. Leaving already. Ahoy, sorry, did I wake you? Aoi? Aoi? I'm gonna go Aoi. I'm not familiar with Indian names, so I apologize to anyone I offend. Uh, what time is it? Eight? How are you feeling? Tired, nauseous. Was she pregnant? Let's go tired? Just like yesterday. Ah. Okay. I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover. Uh, I. I. Lil, Ailey, Batter, and Garlic Chutney from yesterday? Oh god. I'm just. I'm offending a whole country now. Oh, I, I apologize. Uh, you can stream. Uh, oh, you can steam some Ailey's quickly? I don't know if I can figure all that out. Nah, dude, we got this. Let's do it. It's okay. I just... I was just about to leave. It's just IDs. Very easy. It'll take me way... It'll uh, take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. I can just survive on coffee... Okay. No. You cannot survive on machine coffee. That shit is terrible. You need the good stuff. High quality... It's the only stuff you can survive on. Oh shit, he, she's sick of his shit. Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. Femba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. She is sick of his shit, but obviously still cares. Venba. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Whoa. Should I try, should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make 
Eileen's are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Okay. Uh, Illy Plain Towel Cooker. Okay. Ingredients one and batter. Holes, let's dim through. Uh, these also have holes so the batter can cook. Make sure to something or it will leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Okay. So we gotta fill the holes, I'm guessing. Hmm. I've not made aliens with uh, these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be that the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for the towels, I'm not sure. Oh, to fill in the holes in the plates. But Emma, Emma, Emma swears this method makes the eye leaves a little, a lot softer. Okay. The fuck is this? Oh, that's the pot later, okay. No point in putting a plate without the batter in the cooker. Okay, so... One of these... You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It's quite... impressive. How nice the controller feels. I don't think I would have expected that. Okay, why? I'm not sure how to do this here. About idol. Oh, we can learn about the food! How it is made, how is Idols are a breakfast staple. Aline's. Aline's? I don't know. They ask so little of you, but they give you so much back. Simply grind the- Oh, it's a rice cake kind of deal. Oh. Simply grind the rice and some fermented lentils for that cloudy batter and steam it to make these soft fluffy cakes. Ah, anyone can make it, it's so easy. Except for my husband, I guess. Although, I've never made it with my mother's cooker. So, this might be a challenge. No, tell me more! This is fascinating! Oh, this is a little detail in games that make it so much better. How's it so? Uh, they're versatile and it is all about what you eat it with. Chili powder and some sesame oil would work well. Of course, the staples like sambar? I have no clue what that is. And coconut chutney are great too. But eating it with some leftover chicken gravy is my favorite. There are a lot of options. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what they look like yet. From the sounds of it, they kind of look, sound like pancake, like muffins kind of deal, made from rice and lentils, or fermented, fermented lentils. And if that's the case, it's kind of cool. Alright, let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Oh, the little details. It looks like the only the bottom plate cooked. Maybe the steam from the water can't reach the upper plates? There must be an orientation of these plates that would let the steam pass freely. Again. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's what the tuning is for. That's not a redo button. That's a tune button. If I have the plate now, would the steam holes of the bottom plate actually cook the top plate? Maybe I can rotate the plate in the cooker to align the steam holes better? should work. Oh, no, no. I need to align them, right? Or... Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's try it. Wait, do I need to align them? What do you want from me? I'm gonna fail this one. I hit it, I did it. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I did, but it's called magic. Put me at the stake and call me a witch because I use some magic. Actually, I changed my mind. Don't put me at a stake. Oh, wow. You even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out <laughs> I little I lose. I lose. Vemba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch what? Pavlon Oh wait, Pavalon? Pavilion, you're making me choose between resting and letting me starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if you, if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. What will I do for lunch? Yes, use logic. I'd still have to cook as exhausted and sick as I am. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Hey, that's a good joke. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shares, or my boss changes his mind, it's gonna be tough to stay in Canada. Wait, what? You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job, and there's nothing really keeping us here. Okay, so they're in Canada right now? And also, other options, not always that great. There's a lot of countries out there that a lot of foreigners tend to go to that aren't actually that great for foreigners. I'm not sure on how Canada is overall, but if you are planning to go to a country, do your research and 
make sure they're not only friendly to um, immigrants, but also make sure that whatever job you're looking to go into, you're able to. Because there's a lot of places that if you have an education and a bunch of years of experience, they might still make you redo your schooling because, you know, your education in your origin country might not be valid in the one you move to. So that is something to keep in mind. But it is kind of cool. We get to see what seems like um, immigrants in another country and how they bring their traditions over and yet still try to integrate into another country. I think that's really cool. It's an actually really nice perspective, if you ask me. I, I wonder how they do it. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Oh yeah, with Canada, taxes pay for your healthcare. But there are countries that actually do healthcare better than even Canada. Like, apparently, Brazil, if I remember correctly, um, anyone within their borders get free healthcare, whether you're a citizen or not. And I thought that's really cool. And I kind of wish a lot more countries did that. Vemba, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we stop packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. I'd eat... I'd eat... Fuck. Ein Lils. I leaves. I leaves. There we go. Again. Ah! What has gotten into you today? I was fucking right! So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide, e provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option at all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Look, in the end, as long as you try your best, I think your kid will learn to understand that. And I don't think they could ever resent you. Hmm. What do you think, Vemba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Oh my god, his name's actually spelled with four A's. Pavalon? Pavalon? Don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. 
How could they turn out? How else could they turn out? Oh, a new calendar. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. Wait, is it? My, my name is Pavelon, sir. Has it actually, you know what? His name actually kind of sounds like a paladin. Now that I think of it. Pavelon, sir. Caven. Where did you run off to? So, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. I don't have time to play, Caven. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Caven, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, so but Caven, wait here here. Don't run. Whoa. The mask. Caving, come back here. This has become a routine now. What was with the mask? Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics. Sir. Holy shit. Really? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a doctorate, but that's still fucking impressive. Have you ever had us go through a physics course? Fuck that shit. Ayo, hey, that towel is so dirty. Duh. Here yeah, with a shirt, kinda. Wait, how many kids are there? No. But so you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self sudden and a quick learner, so. Put this on, Kenna. Hurry up now. But I don't wanna. Speak in ten mil cabin. Ten mil. I'm assuming that's the Either the language or region where they come from, or both? I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Actually, I'm pretty sure legally they do. So, I wonder if he doesn't understand how Canadian law works? Which is actually kind of scary because if you don't understand uh, the laws especially labor laws of a country you go to you do risk being taken advantage of by your employer and if you ask me that's kind of terrifying please kind of I understand sir yes good boy Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for the consider for considering me. Good day. He didn't get it. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story? I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. What does that mean? I'm gonna go with the first one, it seems a little playful. <laughs> That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in the grocery store. 
see, that's clever. That's, that's you in your brain. This guy, science student, using his brain. That's respect. Oh. Oh no, that's not good. When I was 12. And you were paid in care. Oh, that's even. Oh! The story's getting just worse. Stop. Ah, oh, well. I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Actually, if you're a proficient writer in two languages, then that could be a big deal. Because that can actually allow you to not only pick up proof editing, which, to my knowledge, doesn't pay that great, but it's at least some kind of work. But on top of that, translation work from uh, your... Uh, well, in this case, his native language, to English and then back. And I wonder if... Okay, I don't know about this specifically, but depending on how similar a bunch, like all of the Indian languages, because there's a shit ton of them, depending on how close they are, you could probably translate into multiple languages. But again, that's me not knowing how similar they are. Because if they're very different, you're not getting very far. <laughs> Anyways. Not with my English. Okay, his English isn't that great. I spent half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Ka Kaven. Okay, that's not actually as bad of an idea as you think. Because there's a lot of things you can pick up by just listening to a language if you're also trying to learn it. Because it, it's shown that listening to the radio of the language you're trying to learn, listening to shows, or like anything where you're just listening to the language constantly, actually helps you pick up a language faster by helping you with like pronunciation, speech patterns, and all of the little nuanced stuff. And then if you pick up certain words that you learn, then you can put together more and more context of what people are saying. It's actually kind of interesting, if you ask me at least. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together. Fuck yeah. Appa? Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. I mean, that's not necessarily true. If m you mostly speak Tamil, he's not gonna forget it. Plus, he's gonna have to learn English if he's living in the English part of Canada. And probably French and English, if he's living in the French part, he's gonna have to learn anyways. He's not gonna forget his base language, especially when he's hearing his parents speak it a lot. But I guess the problem for the parents is they should actually be speaking English more if they want to get better at it. But I mean, that's... I don't really care. I don't see the problem with someone speaking their own language within a different country. I just wonder if it makes someone... Like, give someone more difficulties finding jobs. Which would be an issue. Especially raising a kid. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? Oh... Yeah, that would be more popular than K. 
haven. But they do sound similar. I can see that. What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil Da. Do, wait, does Da mean son? I'm assuming Da means son. Appa means father. I think. I wonder. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. Actually, it makes a big difference. That's why we picked it. Names tell... I'm gonna say names tell stories, because that is true. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is gonna tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name, and it suits you well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. <laughs> okay. That was kind of funny. He's brighter than us, Vemba. He's learned to adapt. We have him. You know, he's aced yesterday's English quiz. Really? I didn't even ace English. That hurts. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate Da Kana. I don't know what any of these words mean. Help. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Oh, 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 hold up. What would be like an Indian variation on pizza? Oh, I'm curious. But like, like I know over here, popular toppings are like, obviously, uh, bread. That's not usually sourdough. But then it's like, typically like the most common base is tomato, sauce, then it's like cheese, you have your pepperoni, your bacon, your ham, you have some vegetables. But they're very, like, familiar to like, us in the West. But, what would, oh this got me curious, what would someone from India put on a pizza? That's fascinating. I want to know. I love other cultures. I don't always like their food, but I like to at least try it. You never know what you're going to like, you know? I want pizza. How about something better? How about we make something at home? Like pear? Perugata? Doza? This game's gonna make me cry. Okay, this game, under any Indian word, needs like a like little thing that's like, this is how you pronounce this. Help me. Please. It's gonna make me cry. Oh, I know what ghee is. Ghee doza. I don't know what those are, so. Ghee is a form of concentrated butter. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Kali doza? Why is he only telling, saying doza? No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kaven, have you ever had puto? Puto? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. How? Rocket? Yes. 
a lot of steam comes out when you make it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's kind of cool. It looks like a locket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you can get a nice cardboard box. <gasps> Reverse psychology. That's the only way you should get your way with a kid. Just mindfuck them. Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Alright, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully, it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, there. Yes, thank you for the music. Oh god, good lord. Okay, so that's Ryan's strainer water blender. Okay, 500 grams rice, water, blend, separate fine rice from chunks, something chunks, combine 500 grams of rice with water. Okay. I don't... Alright, let's make some flour. When do we get to see the locker part? Soon, da, be patient. Storing the flour. Venba, I'm no expert, but usually we toast the flour after we make it, no? Usually, yes, but it's important to toast it, especially if you're going to store it, are going to store the flour for later. But we're using it right away, so it's okay to skip it. Oh! Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so rice and water in the blender. It says adding the flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is alright? It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Buddha, flour should feel like slightly wet sand. I think we need to use this. Ship. Wait, I thought I... Hmm. Okay, how does this... Oh no, I think I fucked up already. Wait, what? Oh! Okay, hold on. Okay, so rice first, because we need to make flour. Okay, now how's this gonna work though? Okay. Blend 500 grams of rice. Okay, I mistook that step. Okay. Separate fine rice from chunks. Okay. How do I do that? I should take out the shiv over the towel to catch everything. Oh, you can see it crowing! See, that seems right, because it seems... Because it says we need 500 grams, the only way you're going to get that is if you grind everything up properly. But I'm not going to lie, I think it's a nice touch saying that you can't blend everything up in one go, you actually have to separate stuff. And then you add it to the Hey, okay. I think this is perfect. What does it feel like flour even through... Even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. 
The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. No. Wait, did I mess up? Oh, wait, that wasn't too hot. Okay. Okay. I got got away. Amma, when do we will we get to see the locket? If I'm being honest, I love homemade cooking. I don't do it as often as I should, but I do like it. Oh no. Put layers of coconut as far from each other as possible. Oh dear lord. Please, rewrite this. Okay. Okay, four is in the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna guess the yellow areas is the coconut, the white is the flower. Alright, this is straightforward. Some of the parts of the, the water steam. Water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order coconut can crumble easily. So three tablespoons coconut, four flour. I'm gonna cry. Water in the base. I'm not gonna combine that yet, actually. One. I think. Two. Okay, no, this looks fine. Right. I think. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, now I'm confused because it says put coconut layers as far away as possible. And that's what I'm doing. But on the flip side, the colors don't match what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. Let's try it, I guess. It's launch time, Kaven. Did I do it? Oh my god, that looks amazing. Wow, that was so cool. Vemba, I can't believe it didn't fall. Yes! Yes! Amma? So it does mean Mama. Or like, Mom, I guess. I don't really care, same thing. Can we do that again? Oh. Oh, if this game... We are unable to offer you our secondary position at this time, however we encourage you to apply again next year. If this game is propaganda to make me try more Indian food, it's working. <laughs> is he asleep? I think so. Kaven? <sighs> yes, he is. Good. So that interview... Another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. Wait, why do they need Canadian work experience? And how can someone get relevant experience if no one will hire them? See, this is the shit that bugs me. Not just the, like, immigrants, but, like, Everyone. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking that we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like shoot... Sugash? 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 But I think you should take that sales job at his company. 
It's all about who you know here. We really ought to... I'm gonna say the first one. Because connections can really help. And it seems a little less hopeless. Just a bit. And we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg like, sh beg to people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kaven on the Putu, TA. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kaven. Why? Well, back home, I get the class to laugh, open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's hotter here. What does that have to do with Kaven? I just feel like there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect up with them. They lead very different lives than we did. If I'm being honest, I think... Uh, this is just an assumption. And I could be biased based on like, my personal preferences. But I think most people would love to hear stories and learn more about different cultures, like their practices, what they do for food, like, you know, the culture in general. I think that's something that people are very interested in and don't get the opportunity for. And I think I think that might be how you could get the kids to open up and learn. Because with kids, you have to connect with them, right? You have to make them feel like they're not kids, you know? Like, they're smarter than most people give them credit for. So if you treat them not just like adults, but if you show them that, hey, I'm a person too, and I can have very interesting things to share if you listen. I think, I really do think most people would want to listen, you know? But again, I could be biased because that's just kind of how I am. But who knows? And I feel that same wall going around Kaven. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kaven? It's so hard to even talk to him. It just feels like he's going further away from us. The other day, he told me he wished he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in anything we do. Wait, that's concerning. Why doesn't he eat lunch at school? Oh god. I want to do both. Okay. This one interests me because it's quite concerning. But this one feeds more into how she's, or at least on the face of it, is how he's, she's feeling about the wall going around them. Granted, the reason he might not be eating at school might be because of the lunches being very 
Indian style instead of like the Western style most kids would be used to. And I wonder if it's because of that he feels like his food would make him isolated by the other kids. You know what? Let's go with that one. He brings it back every day with the same excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it. Oh, I was correct. Or if he's embarrassed. One of the two. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we choose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore th from the others. Wow, that's very insightful and actually very accepting of like another culture. I, I don't expect that from most people. That's, I, okay. Now, this makes me want to talk to more people who immigrated from one country to another. And I'm actually very curious if they think the same way as this. Or what's the thought process about moving to a country with like a very different culture. That's interesting. It's got me interested. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just... It's just that it's scary. <laughs> Don't worry, Vemba. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? That's what she said in the first chapter. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause it there. That's two chapters, I think. Just to make sure. Yeah, two chapters. And then I'll go to the third chapter next time. This has actually been quite fun. It's not just a look into, I guess, Tamil culture, like Tamil Indian culture, but you get to learn about the food, which, oh, it looks so good. That and I think for me, one of the most interesting things is you get to see the perspective of immigrants in another country and how they're adapting to it. That's, at least for me, that's not something I get to hear and it's not something I get to experience. So, I think for me, that's a new and interesting perspective that fascinates me and makes me really want to learn more. I love it. <laughs> but with that being said, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and... Sweet nightmares.